general pediatrics let's start with ftt or failure to thrive ftt is the term used for children up to 5 years of age whose physical growth is significantly less than their peers of the same age and sex ftt is said to occur if weight for age less than 3rd centile failure to gain weight over a period of time and fall in more than 2 major centiles any one of the above indicates ftt now let's see the relation between height weight and age parameters to consider a child as mild moderate or severe ftt although the table look very confusing but the best way to remember this table is with this short trick just remember the highest percentage in each category which are almost the same that is 90% since weight varies with acute problems hence we begin any nutritional parameter from weight only thus here we start with weight for age and subtract 15 from the highest percentage hence weight for age in mild degree of ftt is between 75 to 90% in moderate ftt when the weight for age is between 60 to 75 percentage and severe if less than 60% Similarly we go ahead and subtract 10 from weight for height and height for age being the most stable parameter hence changes only over a long period of time hence we subtract only 5 and that too from the highest value as 95 the most unstable we subtract 15 and the most stable we subtract 5 now let's see the management management includes nutritional rehabilitation complete evaluation treating the underlying pathology and monitoring of the growth now let's see some formula based on relationship of weight with respect to age with the help of this formula we can derive approximately ideal weight of a child at that particular age these formulas are called weights formulas For a child age between 3 to 12 months expected weight is equal to x plus 9 divided by 2 and here x is age in months similarly for a child of age 1 to 6 years the expected weight is equal to 2x plus 8 here x is in years and if the child is 7 to 12 years then expected weight will be 7x minus 5 divided by 2 here x is again in years You can check these formulas with the help of WHO growth charts and you will find the values almost overlapping hence giving them the importance Let's move ahead coming to the simple day to day use weight for age formula that is ready reconer formula which states that if the birth weight is x then in 5 months the baby weight becomes approximately 2x and in 1 year 3x and 2 years 4x and similarly 3 years 5x and in 5 years it becomes 6x and in 7 years the weight becomes 7x and in 10 years 10x this gives us a rough estimate of a child growth with respect to age here it is important to mention that charting the growth on a growth chart is the gold standard but these formulas can give a idea about child's present condition indeed everything cannot be remembered at once but at least do remember that the weight doubles in 5 months whereas height doubles in 4 years hence justifying why we take weight for acute cases and height for chronic ones we will deal further with weight and age in pem topic let's move ahead let's move to the height height can be measured in two ways If a child is less than 2 years then we use an infantometer else we use the stadiometer as shown now as we discussed in detail the height and the age relationship in the video of short stature let's do short flashback the height or the length at birth is approximately 50 cm and at 1 year it becomes 50 plus 25 cm that is 75 cm and at 2 years it increases to 87.5 cm and in and 100 cm in 4 years important thing to be noted is that weight doubles in half a year and height in 4 years 
Now coming to another important parameter that is head and the chest circumference. Average head circumference at birth is equal to 34 cm and average chest circumference at birth is equal to 31 cm. Note, if the gap between HC and CC is more than 3 cm then suspect IUGR. Rate of head circumference growth after birth is 2 cm per month for first 3 months 1 cm per month for next 3 to 6 months and 0.5 cm per month for 6 to 12 months. The head circumference becomes equal to chest circumference in 9 months and the chest circumference grows more than head circumference beyond 12 months of age. Let's move ahead. Now considering the head circumference abnormalities. Microcephaly if the head circumference to age is less than 3 SD and macrocephaly if the head circumference age is more than 95th centile. Now let's move ahead. Let's see the upper segment to the lower segment ratio. We should note that early childhood years the upper segment is larger than the lower segment but later the lower segment becomes equal or slightly larger than the upper segment. It follows like this, at birth 1.7 is to 1 ratio, at 3 years 1.3 is to 1 ratio and at 7 years 1.1 is to 1 ratio and by 10 years of age 1 is to 1 ratio. This segmentation is from the head to the pubic symphysis and from pubic symphysis to the heel or the toe. I conclude this topic with this quote, when life gives you 100 reasons to cry, Show life that you have a thousand reasons to smile. Much more coming up in this topic. Till then, stay motivated, stay happy and stay tuned.